In this video, we absorb ourselves in history. And find planes galore. We've visited Imperial War Museum Duxford while away on a weekend break. As we visited in February, we found the museum open on reduced hours. Located just south of Cambridge, on Junction 10 of the M11, the museum is approximately 42 miles north of London. Entering via the shop, we headed straight for the airspace hangar, which was close by. During the 60s and 70s, the Vulcan was one of Britain's three types of strategic nuclear bombers. The Avro Lancaster is a Second World War bomber and had a crew complement of seven. It's famed for its role in 1943 Dambuster raids carried out by 617 Squadron. Perhaps Britain's most famous aircraft is the much-loved Spitfire. It played a key part in the 1940s Battle of Britain and is perceived as the main RAF fighter. Well, it's the first hangar down. It certainly is. Shame we didn't have um, enough time to go on the Concorde as there were so many people around. I, I, I really enjoyed reading all the info boards as well. What about you? Yeah, getting all the general history of the planes and um, life stories as well. So, yeah, very informative, very good to read. At this point, we thought we'd have a look at the static airliners. However, they're all closed during the winter. So instead, we headed to the American hangar. But first leading up to the entrance is a memorial commemorating the American airmen who flew in the Second World War. Each icon represents a US aircraft lost while flying from UK bases. Another memorial close to the entrance honors the millions of men and women who served in the United States Air Force.
perhaps the most surprising object in the museum was a fragment from the World Trade Center. We weren't expecting this, and I'm not sure how to explain how I felt being so close to a piece of wreckage from such a historical event. A one that I can certainly remember very vividly. Still feeling a little emotional, we next headed to the Land Warfare Exhibition. Lastly, we only had time to visit the Battle of Britain hangar and, if I'm honest, it didn't have the same atmosphere as the previous hangars we'd visited. That said, my favourite exhibits in here would be the Downed Messerschmitt and the Dougalbug. Overall, Therese and I thoroughly enjoyed our day at Duxford Imperial War Museum and, if we were to have a return visit, I think we try and make it during the summer months when the museum is open for longer periods and more of the exhibits are accessible. We really hope you enjoyed our video. If you want to see more of our adventures, please remember to subscribe. We'd also love to see your comments.